become a professional live streamer? It's never been easier thanks to the Binge Pipe Streamer Program. Just listen to these satisfied streamers. I couldn't believe how easy it was to stream with Binge Pipe. It was like super easy to get started. There was almost no setup. There was literally no setup. No complicated sign up process. You just click a button and stream. Sometimes I was streaming without even clicking the button. I'm not totally sure what that button does actually. I started out just streaming games, but now I can't stop streaming. Seriously? I can't stop streaming. How do I turn this off? I think I'm streaming right now. The eye of Binge Pipe is unblinking. I unplugged my webcam, but the light's still on. I put it in a drawer, but it's still weird. It's very weird. Super weird. It's uncomfortable and weird. Binge Pipe Streamer Program. If you're... Binge Pipe is ignoring our lawyers and presenting You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe. Remember the dog your parents said went to live on a farm? We have him. Keep watching. I'm Cookie Masterson, and if you think this is all some kind of a game, congrats on picking up context clues. Eight of you. What is this, fibbage? Ready or not, here we go. One. To get things rolling, Pit's Boss. If Old Spice came out with a deodorant with an Elon Musk musk, what would it smell like? A freshly opened Amazon box, an unused iPhone, a brand new Tesla, or a bag of whole food produce? So what'd you pick? Elon Musk is the CEO of Tesla Motor Company. And I, for one, welcome driverless cars because it's in cars that I'm most commonly subjected to other people's body odor. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Why not try C, senor? You know how Aquaman's superpower is being able to talk to fish? Even Jason Momoa probably has a hard time making that seem cool. When would Aquaman not be able to be saved by sea creatures? While getting beat up in the Cosmonaut Sea? While getting beat up in the Sea of Hebrides? While getting beat up in the Sea of Sardinia? Or while getting beat up in the Sea of Tranquility? Okay, who chose what? That was a belly flop. The better choice would have been the Sea of Tranquility is on the moon, so there wouldn't be any fish or plankton or shrimp to help Aquaman out. Look, Aquaman probably wouldn't get picked on so much if he didn't go swimming in a shirt. Why don't we do it with three? Here's one I like to call, you're a hoser, Harry. Sounds to me like some sort of dis or dat. I'm going to read you seven things, and for each I want you to tell me if it's a curling term or a magical stone from the world of Harry Potter. Think fast, you'll only get a few seconds to pick between a curling term or a Harry Potter stone. And you're all doing this together, so look alive. Okay, let's do it. Hog stone. Stone. Philosopher Stone. Resurrection Stone. Displaced Stone. Now let's keep going. Hi, 
Next, Mythed It by a Mile. If John Legend only sang Greek legends, which of his songs would be describing the quest of Prometheus? Wake up everybody, made to love, start a fire, or let's get lifted. Okay, what'd you pick? Prometheus stole fire from the gods and gave it to humanity. Coming up next, seeking a strange arrangement. Go with me here. If you decided to get rid of your sugar daddy and trade them in for a soy mommy, what should you not call them? Edamami dearest, miso mommy, seitan sweetie, or sexy tofu lady? Hope you like what you picked. Ow. Edamame, miso, and tofu are soy, but seitan is a meat substitute made of wheat gluten. My soy mommy only lets me call her Susan. <laughs> Round one is dead to me. Remember, these numbers also serve as your personality rankings. These players are currently tied for the lead. Wow, you're really doing it. Oh, and by the way, all the cash in round two is doubled, in case you care about things like that. Just wonderful, Cookie. Six trombones is not a parade. It's time for emoji dating. Admit it, you've been spending too much time on Tinder lately. While browsing your iPhone emojis, you are seriously turned off by the symbol category and swipe all the way left. What hopefully sexier emoji group will you be checking out now? Smileys, adorable animal faces, fruit, or flags? So who got it? Since the first appearance of emojis on iPhone, flags have lived at the far right side of the emoji universe, which you reach by swiping left. Flags, for when you truly have nothing left to say. Hey, question. Binge Pipe now offers content surveys. Would you like a formal question or a question that keeps things casual? Vote on your devices now. Here are the consequences of your choices. You have engaged with the process. Mon béret a rétréci. Set. There is no hiding from a question that keeps things casual. I was just wondering, if, if you're not doing anything else, could you tell me which of these is not one of Ashton Casual Kutcher's movies? No strings attached, just friends. A lot like love or what happens in Vegas. I love this part. Hey, F for effort. Let me show you something. Ryan Reynolds was the star of Just Friends. The studio thought about casting Ashton, but it just couldn't commit. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. Feast your eyes upon this. A hug from Binge Pipe. Oh, gross. Why did they make me say that? Binge Pipe recommends. Because you enjoy the expeditions of Juan Ponce de Leon, we thought you would like The Florida Project, Raising Arizona, Mystery Alaska, or Californication. And how'd we do? Juan Ponce de Leon was a Spanish explorer who led the first European trip to the state of Florida. And if you'd like to see a movie about life in modern day Florida, I recommend The Purge. Behold, 
Muppet Shade. I don't really get this one, so I'm guessing it's a meme. If Kermit the Frog were sipping so much tea, he needed to move to the country that leads the world in tea production, where would he move? India, but that's none of my business. China, but that's none of my business. Sri Lanka, but that's none of my business. Or Kenya, but that's none of my business. Who picked what? China leads the world in tea production by a million metric tons. India, Kenya, and Sri Lanka are second, third, and fourth, respectively. Kermit only drinks black tea because it's not easy finding green. Here we have McCarthyisms. Help me remember something. What's that movie where Melissa McCarthy plays the loud, boisterous, yet lovable woman with no filter? I think she robs a burger joint in it. Identity Thief, Tammy, Bridesmaids, or The Heat? Let's see how that shook out. Oh yeah, that's the one I was thinking of. I would hate if I was only known for my loud and lovable voice, which is why I focus on just being loud. It's time for the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. And more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And don't forget... It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Part of the team. I hope you know what official titles belong on what teams. Good luck. Nice work, Player 5. There are no small victories, except this one. You barely won. I guess what I'm saying is... You don't know Jack! Special Agent Benson is used to working under pressure. Two minutes and counting, Benson. Piece of cake. Let's rock and roll. But he's about to face his greatest challenge. No, I was afraid of that. What's wrong? Autofill is using my old address. Looks like I'll have to enter this. 
manually. Find out what happens when the world's best agent tries to order concert tickets. Is the stop sign technically in the square? Ten seconds. It looks Nine, like there's a sliver of the sign in this. Seven. It's too hard to six, tell. Five. Four, that square's got to count, three, right? Right? Two, one. Gulp. Ryan Hannigan stars in The Checkout, streaming now exclusively on Binge Pipe. Ma'am, excuse me, I'm with the show What's in Your Purse, and I was wondering, what's in your purse? You want to go through my purse? Okay, what is this, a prank show? No, just like a man on the street thing. Are you sure you don't mind? <laughs> no, no, it's fine. I'm just a little embarrassed to say I don't know what all is in here. I haven't cleaned things out in a while, so we got a brush and some mints and napkins from a drive through and oh my god. Oh, it's, um, I don't know how. Wow, wow. Is that a dead bird? Yeah, yeah, it is. It, you wouldn't have known this, but I used to be a magician's assistant like like 15 years ago, and the last trick I assisted on was a bird trick. And that's the bird? One never reappeared. And the Incredible Benjamin said, just wait. Wow, just wow. Do you want us to get rid of that bird? No, I'm good, thanks. 